In this video, I'm going to show you how to add colors to your mesh in Pro Builder. What's up everyone, Adam here from Pixel Mystique. I make games and I help others to learn game dev. If you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing to get game dev tips, tutorials and inspiration. And hit that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Applying vertex colors is a great way to colorize levels for prototyping, team layout, zones, and so much more. You can apply unique vertex colors to faces or objects in order for you to easily identify and also communicate to your team uh, where something begins or some, where something ends. So to do this, you can apply vertex colors by going to the Pro Builder window and selecting vertex colors. A new window will pop out where you have a bunch of colors and it's all within your color palette. To apply the colors, select the parts of the mesh that you want to color. For example, this face right here. And then select which color you would like to apply. As you can see, the face is now changed. It's applying the green color that I've selected. You can select multiple faces like this and click a different color to apply it and now you have different colors across different faces you can also select the edge and color just the edge let's say we select these two edges right here and let's apply the black color you're gonna get this gradient like effect because we applied the yellow color first and this is impacting this edge right here and this edge right here so it has this streak across you can also uh, try to apply it to just one edge and you'll see the difference there okay so then from there you can also apply to vertex level and let's just try on one vertex and that's the impact you can get from just that one vertex selection. If you select multiple vertices and apply the same color, you're going to get almost like the multiple edges or an entire face uh, being colored. You can change the colors in the color palette by clicking on this um, bar right here. And there'll be a new color wheel popping up. And from there, you can adjust accordingly. You can also use the eyedropper tool either here or here to choose the color that you want to replicate. If you want to remove the color, it's ideal that you apply the white color. So by clicking one of these colors and just slide the color selection to white until you get FFFFF six times, which is the hex code for the color white. And all you need to do then is to select the entire mesh and hit apply. And by doing that, you get the default Pro Builder material and color. And if all else fails and you want to have your original color palette, the default color palette, just click this button right here, reset, and everything will go back to the default settings. So to show a quick example of how you can apply this to your level prototype or your level layout, let's say you have a simple prototype that's laid out like this and then let's select vertex color and perhaps you want to identify which zones are meant for the player movement. Let's say this entire surface right here and let's make that green. And then maybe these are sort of dead zones or uh, just cosmetic and you don't allow players to go through maybe you can put this color right here and then maybe this is a combat area or some sort of encounter area you apply the red color here and as you can see then you can keep doing this until you color the entire map with um, whatever colors you feel are meant to communicate a certain interaction or a certain uh, description for the level to help communicate better with your team. 
Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. It is due to their generosity that I'm able to make more games and more videos like this one. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more game dev tips, tutorials, and inspiration. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.